Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. So I have here, let's introduce deflection cases for basic loadings. And you're supposed to have experience about deflection methods from your mechanics or materials or strength of materials. So supposing this is not new to you, I just introduced this in advance because this is important later as a superposition tool in determining reactions and mo moment reactions and vertical reactions. So for this loading, simply supported beam, concentrated load at the center, the deflection is, the maximum deflection is PL cube over 48 EI, if you can recall. And this is a basic uh, deflection formula. Then for uniformly distributed load over the entire span, the maximum deflection occurs at the center and it is 5 WL to the fourth over 384 EI. I hope you can remember that. Then in general for a uh, cantilever beam loaded with this arbitrary loading. This will be the moment at the wall due to that loading. The general formula derived by area moment theorems is EI delta, the deflection at the end, equals moment at the wall L square over N plus 2. So EI delta equals moment to the wall L square over N plus 2. That's the general formula where N is the degree of the moment curve due to this loading. So if you draw the moment diagram, moment diagram by parts, the degree of that loading is this N here. Then EI theta on the other hand is moment at the wall, length, over n plus 1. So that's the general formula and and we will derive this as we reach the topic on superposition or when we deal with indeterminate, statically indeterminate structures, statically indeterminate beams. So for this type of loading, we have a couple at the end. So the degree is 0. So the moment at the wall is also Me. So Me L square over 0 plus 2. So Ei delta is M L square over 2. Me L square over 2. Then Ei theta equals Me L over 0 plus 1. So Me L only. Then for a loading which is concentrated load at the end, Ei delta equals the moment at the wall is Pl. So PL times L square degree of the moment diagram due to this concentrated load is 1. So it is EI delta equals PL cube over 3. Then EI theta equals PL times L, so PL square over 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then for this case here, the moment at the wall is W times L times L over 2, so WL square over 2, and the degree is 2, so EI delta equals WL to the 4th over 2 times 4, because N is 2 is 8. So the EI delta equals WL to the fourth over 8. 
Then EI theta equals WL square over 2 times L square. WL square over 2 times times L. So WL cube over 2 plus 1. So 2 times 2 plus 1 is 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. So EI theta is WL cube over 6. And lastly, for this type of loading, triangular loading, the moment at the wall is 1 half WL times L over 3, so WL square over 6 times L square, so WL to the 4th over 6. The degree is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 6 times 5 is 30, so it's EI delta is WL to the 4th over 30. While EI theta is WL square over 6 times L, WL cube over 6, degree is 3 plus 1, so 4, 6 times 4 is 24. So EI theta is WL cube over 24. So you're just familiar with this uh, deflection formulas and for slope also for this cantilever beam and you'll be able to determine required uh, reactions, maybe. So let's have this example for the beam loaded as shown below. Determine the vertical reactions at the supports and the internal bending moment at the center. So EI is constant and assume the beam weighs 1,500 newtons per meter or 1.5 kilonewtons per meters. So therefore, the total uniform load is 20 kN per meter plus the weight of the beam, which is 1.5 kN per meter. So it is 21.5 kN per meter. And there is also a concentrated load at the center. So imagine that the support at the center is removed. It will deflect. The downward deflection consists of the deflection due to this concentrated load at the center, PL cube over 48 EI plus the deflection at the center due to this uniform load, WL to the 4th over 5, WL to the 4th over 384 EI. So the reaction here horizontal is 0, then call that AY, R sub B, R sub C. By symmetry, EY, AY equals R sub C. So let's compute the downward deflection. It is equal to PL cube over 48 EI plus 5 WL to the 4th over 384 EI. So P is 30, so downward deflection. 30 times 8 cube over 48 EI plus 5 times 21.5 times 8 to the 4th over 384 EI. So combining delta B downward deflection is 4400 over 3 EI. Then, because there's no support movement at B, then we can find RB. Imagine that all the loads are removed, then we apply that RB there to, so that the beam will camber or deflect upwards. And we just equate the downward load with the upward load. So it is a concentrated load at the center. So the formula is PL cube over 48 E. I will replace P by R sub B. So delta B upward equals R sub B times 8 cube over 48 EI, and that is equal to 32 R sub B over 3 EI. So equating, although this is negative and that's positive, let's just make this both positive. So 4400 over 3 EI equals 32 R B over 3 EI. Cancel out 3 EI, so R sub B is 4400 over 32. We can now compute R sub B and it is equal to 137.5 kN. Having found R sub B, we consider the entire system. We sum up moment about C equals 0. So AY times 8 plus RB 137.5 times 4 equals 30 times 4 plus 21.5 times 8 times 4. So AY equals R sub C equals 32.25 kilonewtons. So next is this internal moment at B. Let's assume it is positive. So it is 
So at the left, positive is clockwise, at the right, counterclockwise as shown, considering portion AB only and the forces loadings between A and B. So summation moment about B equals 0, so MB plus 21.5 times 4 times 2 minus AY times 4 equals 0. So M sub B minus 21, sorry, plus 21.5 times 4 times 2 and minus AY 32.25 times 4 equals 0. So from there, we can solve for MB equals negative 43.00 kilonewton meter. So that's it for this problem. I hope that you are able to understand, follow the solutions. So it is just an application of uh, deflection formulas, common deflection formulas.